In this video, you'll learn to create a web service client. In this video, we'll look at creating a web service client based on the information provided by the WSDL, set timeout options for the client, and handle Genera Web Services server errors. So the general steps for creating a web services client is to first identify the web service that you want to use. That web service will provide a WSDL, which is the descriptive file needed for using that web service. Genero comes with a utility called FGL WSDL that allows you to extract from a WSDL the information needed to work with and utilize the web service. Once you have that information, you can write the application by first importing the Genera Web Services extension library, specifying in the application the globals file, and calling the function or functions that are available to you through the web service. Then you'll compile the application, including a helper module called WS Helper, and you'll be able to run the application and access information from the web service server. So again, the first thing once you've identified the web service that you want to use is to get the WSDL information. That might be a file, that might be a location, uh, a URL location that you're using to extract the information needed. The w FGL WSDL tool extracts from the WSDL location or file the globals variable and record definitions that are going to be in a globals file with the .inc extension, as well as the underlying function code that you'll be able to utilize in your program, and that will be a 4GL file. This stub name that you use when using the utility allows you to determine what the name will be for the two files that are extracted from uh, and pulled together from the information in the WSDL file of the web service. In this example down here, we're simply using FGL WSDL dash lowercase o, the stub name, we want to call it WS underscore calculator, and then the location of the WSDL information. The resulting files in this example will be ws underscore calculator dot inc and ws underscore calculator dot 4gl. So the two files, as mentioned, that are created with that utility are the include file, which is the globals file with the definitions of the input and output records. Also, prototypes of the operations. The generated 4GL file includes the definition of the functions that you can use in your client application to perform the requested operation. So for example, we'll see in the WS Calculator 4GL file the operations uh, such as add, subtract, multiply, and divide that have the code that go out and actually request uh, that information from the web service in the web services source function. And in this file, we'll also see all the code that manages the web service request. Now, these are files that we do not modify once they've been generated. Instead, we're going to include these files in our program and write our own client or utilize a client and add this information in so that we can access those new functions. Now we need to write the application or modify an existing application to utilize these new functions that we have access to. The first thing we'll do is import the GWS extension library by simply using imp the word import and the library name which is com, C-O-M. We'll specify the globals file. In our example, it's going to be the ws underscore calculator dot inc file and then we can call the function and we'll have to check and see what our options are. There may be um, the ability to use a function using input output parameters or a function that allows us to use global input and output uh, records and all of those global uh, functions are 
given uh, a underscore g suffix. So here's an example of using the add function. Now remember the add function, its actual source functionality is in the web service, but the generated for GL file has given us a the opportunity or the ability to utilize that function by simply providing some information uh, to our add function. So here in the main, we're going to let our operands be one and two, and we're going to call a function called add. Now if we looked in the generated 4GL file, we would see that there is a function called add that takes two arguments, uh, two uh, integers. And we're going to return WS status and result to integers as we've defined up here. If WS status is true, then we're going to display the result. If there's an error, we're going to go ahead and display the description of the error. Now if we looked up WS error, we'd see that it is a, a global record that has um, some web service error information that we can utilize. Now in this particular example, we also have a global function which has the underscore g is how we would recognize it in our generated uh, uh, 4GL source file. Again, the same way we're going to import the web services extension library and identify the globals file, but this time we're going to use our record variable a and b that are a part of a record called add, and we're going to call a function add underscore g. In this example, it does the same thing. We're calling the add function, but we're going to instead display add response dot r, which is a variable of the add response record already defined uh, for us, and we it's a global uh, definition, so we can use use it straight away here in our code. Once we've written the part of the application or the application that's utilizing the functions in the web service, we're going to compile all the modules, all the 4GL files, including the generated 4GL file. We'll also then add the helper module, which is located in FGL Dir Live. We'll include that in our program so that we can utilize all of the web service information and make that uh, connection to working with the web service that we've identified. So in order to compile, we can use FGL comp and the 4GL files, and then when we link the program, here our program is called myclient.42r, we will link in the modules including the WS helper 42m file. Now if you're working in Genero Studio, you would just add the external dependency uh, WS helper.42m so that when it builds your program, it's including this helper file. Now that we've compiled the application, we can go ahead and run it. So let's take a look at how this application works when running. Now here we are in Genero Studio, and this calculator program has as a part of it the two files that were generated using the FGL WSDL tool and the code that we looked at in the slide. So here is the import to the web services library, the reference to the globals, and then we're going to be calling the global add function, and the global add function is in the generated file And let's just take a look and see where we see that. Add G, let's go and look at that. And you can see that it has all the code has been generated to access and utilize the service operation called add. So in our client stub here, we're simply going to call that function And we're going to just display the result, and the result is going to be this addresponse.r. If we looked at our globals file, we would see here that the uh, add 
g has a add response output and if we looked at that add response output we would find the variable r for the response so for our stub here we're using display the result the add response dot r that variable now we've added as our operands a 1 and a 2 we could supply any two integers that we want to to this function and when we compile it we need to be sure that we have included the helper module and you can look here under external dependencies we've listed the ws helper.42m file so when we've successfully compiled, the next thing we need to do is make sure that the calculator service is running. And you can see here that it has been started and it's listening. And so we'll execute and get our result of 3. Now this particular stub or client only uses the add function, but of course we could look at the WS calculator uh, 4GL file and see all of the various operations that are included in this service.